Jesus. Happy Black History Month. Continue with Black History. How y'all doing out there this morning? Hope everybody having a blessed morning. All right. Going on with some more greatest, greatest notable African American who helps help change the world. Sally Tana. Marcel Adazana, writer, 1898 to 1989. And native Philippine, Adazana was the first black woman to receive a PhD in economics in the United States. The first black woman student to graduate with a law degree from Penn, Penn Law School and the first African-American woman to practice law in Pennsylvania. Alexander work and views are recorded is speeches kept in the pen achieved. The Sada Tana Marcel Alexander University Pennsylvania Partnership School, Penn Alexander in West Philly is named after her. Richard Allen Minister, 1760 to 1831. A minister, educator, and writer in Philadelphia, native found in Africa, Mary Methodist at Piscopal Church, the first independent black denomination in the United States. He opened the first AME church in, in Philly in 1974. Born into slavery, he brought his he bought his freedom in the 1780s and joined St. George Church because a sin restriction place on black to be confined to the gallery. No, my phone. Huh? Missed a phone from messages. That probably was your mama. Uh, just one
I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I had to take this call. I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna start back up with uh, Richard Adam Minist- Ministry, 1760 to 1831, a minister, educator, and writer. At this Right, this uh, Philadelphia native found in Africa Methodist Estatical Church, the first independent black denomination in the United States. He opened his, the, the first AME church in Philadelphia in 1974, born into slavery. He bought his freedom in the, ninth, in the 1780s and joined St. George Church because of seating restriction placed on blacks to be confined to the gallery he left to form his own church in 1787. He turned an old blacksmith shop into the first church for blacks in the United States. Maya Angelo, Portrait, 1928 to 2014. Angelo was American portrait singer, mentorist, and civil rights activist. With a colorful and troubling past highlighted in her most famous archaeobiology. I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. She published seven autographs, three books of essays, several books of poetry, and is is credited with a list of plays, movies, and television shows. Spanning over 50 years, her works have been considered a defense and celebration of black culture. Arthur Asia, tennis player, 1943-1993. As she resumed, includes three Grand, grand Slam titles and a title of the first black player selected to the United States Dave's Davis Cup team and the only black man ever to win the single title of Wim Blendon, the U.S. Open, and the Australia Open in July 1979. Asher suffered a heart attack while holding a tennis clinic in New York. His high profile drew attention to his condition, especially, especially to the hereditary tennis court. Yes, yes, brother Joshua. Expect heart disease in 1992. As he was diagnosed with HIV, he and his doctors believe he contracted the virus from blood transfusion he received during his second heart surgery. After Asia went public with his illness, he found the Arthur Asia Foundation for the Defeat of AIDS, working to raise awareness about the disease and advocate teachers safe sex education. On June 20, 1993, Asia was post release awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Bill Clinton. James Baldwin, American novelist, 1924 to 1987. Baldwin was American novelist, playwright, and actress most notably known for the notes of Native Son, the first the fire next time and the devil finds work. One of his noble uh, Beatle Streets could talk was adapted into an Academy Award winning dramatic film in 2018. It is certain in any case that ignorance allied with power is the most fierce enemy justice can have. Ruben Bridges, Civil Rights Evans, 1954, present at age six, Bridges 
embark on a historic walk to school as a first America, African American student to integrate the all white Williams France Elementary School in, Lu in Louisiana. She was l lunch alone and sometimes played with her teacher at recess, but she never missed a day of school that year in 1999. She established the Ruby Bridges Foundation to promote tolerance and create change through education in 2000. She was made the honorary deputy marshal in, in a ceremony in Washington, D.C. Kobe Bryant, NBA star, humanity, 1978 to 2020. Draft rights out of Lower Memory High School at the age of 17. Brian won five titles as one of the McQueen players in the Los Angeles Lakers franchise. He was a member of the of the gold medal winning U.S. men's basketball team at 2008 Benjamin Olympics. Ben Jean Olympus game and the 2012 London Olympus game in 2015. Brian wrote, wrote the poem Dear Basketball, which served as the basis for a short film of the same name he narrated. The work won an Academy Award for Best emanated short film, a vocal advocate for the homeless. Brian and his wife, Vanessa, started the Cobra and Vanessa Bryan Family Foundation aimed to reduce the number of homeless in Los Angeles. Brian, his daughter, Gigi, and seven other passengers died in a helicopter crash in a late, in a late January. Bessie Coleman, civil act, Equator, 1892 to 19, 26. Coleman was the first black woman to fly an airplane when American flying school denied her entry due to her race. She taught herself French and moved to France, earning her license from Capitan Brothers School in just seven months. She specialized in stunt flying and performing aerial tricks, reading stories of the World War, World War One pilots spark her interest in activation. Claudette Cup, I read you. Mary Fields, mail carrier, 1832 to 1914. Known as stretch coach, Mary Fields was the first African American to work in the U.S. Postal Service. Born a slave, she was free when slavery was outlawed in 1865. At the age of 63, Fields was hired as a, as a mail carrier because she was the fastest coach. If the show was too deep for her here, horses, Fields delivered the mail on snowshoes carrying the sack of her shoulder. Rudolph Fisher, physician, physicians, 1897 to 19, 1934. Fisher was an African American physician, radiologist, noblest. Short story writer, drumminist, musician, and orator, in addition to published scientific articles. He had to, a love of music. He played piano, wrote music scores, and toured with Paul Robinson, playing jazz. He wrote multiple short story, two novels, and contributed his tackles to. NAACP, all before the death of the age of 37. 
James 14, a ambitionist. 17, 66 to 18, 42. 14 was an African American business and wealthy business in Philadelphia. Born free in the city, he became a sales maker after the American Revolutionary War. Following the apprenticeship, he became he became the farmer and bought, and bought the sales loft when his boss retired. Based on equipment he developed at Escalation, establishes a highly profitable business on the business waterfront of the Delaware River and what's now Penn's Landing. Having become well established in his 40s, 14 devoted both time and money to working for the nation opposition of slavery and gaining civil rights for blacks. By 1830, by 1830, he was one of the most powerful African-American voices in the city. <coughs> Francis Hopper, Portrait, 1825-1911, died in Philadelphia, born free, and the Baltimore Harper was a mission, ambulance, suffragist, portrait teacher, public speaker, and writer. She helped slaves make their way along the Underground Railroad into Canada. In 1994, the co-founding of Nation Associate Color Women's Art organization dedicated to highlighting and extraordinary efforts to pro progress made by black women. She served as a vice president. And last one I'm going to do today is Lester Hughes's portrait, 1902 to 1967. Hughes was an American portrait social evidence, noblest, playwright, Collins, born in Missouri, he moved to New York at early age, becoming one of the earliest into of the new art from jazz poetry in the early, in the early 1920s. His first book of poetry was published, and he wrote in a deep weekly column for Chicago Defender, highlighting the civil rights movement. His ashes are interred beneath the floor. Mandela in the middle of the foyer in the uh, Sohumber Center for Research in the Black Culture in Harlem. The interests of auditory name for him. Okay.
shadow we stand today. The sign of the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a red beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves. The device is connected. See it. See it. I have the pleasure to present to you, Dr. Martin Luther King, J.R. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed okay, the Thumbs Up I appreciate it. Proclamation. Happy Monday to you every each and every last one of y'all. This decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night. Hello, Nicholas, brother, Nicholas White. How you doing this morning? Well, Happy Monday, Monday to you. I hope you're having later. a blessed morning. The Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. One hundred years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day under the red hills of draw, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners. Will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream of it. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious races with this governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and notification. One day right now in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rock places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all such shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a 
stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discourse of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. Be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims' pride. From every mountainside, let freedom reign if America is to be a great nation. This must become true. And so let freedom reign from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom reign. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring from the heightening alligators of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the smoke-capped rockets of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvature of slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from the stone mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and old hill of Mississippi. From every mountain Barack Obama. According to Wikipedia, Barack Hussein Obama II is an American. Last but not not least, Barack Obama. And Michelle Obama. Barack, Ob Barack Obama, sir, as the 44th president of the United States, his story is the America is American story. Why he's from the heartland and middle class upbringing in a strong family. Hard work and education as the means of getting ahead and a conviction that a life so blessed should live and service to others. When Black Obama was elected president in 2008, he became the first America, African American to hold the office. The, the framer of the Constitution always hoped that our leadership would not be limited to America or wealth or family connection, subject to the prejudice pre of their time. Many of them owned slaves. Most would not have foreseen an African American president. Obama's father, Barack Sr., a Kenyan and communist, met the mother, Stanley and Duncan, Dunham, when both were students in Hawaii, where Barack was born on August 4, 1961. They later divorced, and Barack mother married a man from in 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 do, in 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 Indonesia, Indonesia, <laughs> where he spent his early childhood before the fifth grade. He returned to Honolulu to live with his material grandparents and attend. Pahana School on Scholarship.
Okay. Michelle Obama. According to Wikipedia, Michelle. Hey, sis, hey, sis, how you doing? Happy, th happy Monday to you, sis. This last one, I'm going with Michelle Obama. All right, Michelle Lavanga Robinson Obama, born night, born January 17, 1964, is an American attorney, author who served as a first lady. A United States from 2009 to 2017 as a wife of former President Barack Obama. She was the first African American woman to serve in the in her in this position. Raised on the south side of Chicago, Obama is a graduate of Princeton University and Harvard Law School. In her early legal career, she worked at the law firm Sinley Austin, where she met Barack Obama. She subsequently worked in a nonprofit non and as the associate dean of the student service of the University of Chicago, as well as the vice president for community and external affairs of University of Chicago Medical Center. Michelle married Barack in 1992, and together they had two daughters. Yay, yeah, Michelle, my girl. <laughs> All right, then, sis. Beautiful, powerful, down to earth. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes, yeah, she is. Obama campaigned for her husband, President presidential by throughout 2007 2008 deliver a keynote address at the 2008 democratic nation convention she has sequentially delivered acclaimed claim speeches at the 2012 2016 2020 convention as first lady obama served as a role model for women and work as a accurate of uh, Proper, pro, property awareness, education, nutrition, and fiscal act, activity, and healthy eating. She she support America designer and was considered a fashion icon. After her husband presidency pres, pre, Obama influence influence has remained high in in 2020. Obama top get up poll at the most admired woman in America for the third year running. All right, this is for the Black History for today, Black History Month. I pray that got somebody. See, I learned something about Michelle Obama that I didn't know. Now I know. And I want to shout out to all, all the names that I read. I want to sh shout, shout out. I learned that I learned that I learned that she was a I didn't know she was a lawyer. I do now. Uh, I know that she she did had a look kind of like her own business, but 
what I know she she was more than just her husband, her, her, her husband wife. She was she was doing her thing too. And and the main thing I got out of it is that when she got into the White House, that she still was going by the same thing she was doing when she went in the White House. Still was teaching her kids. Okay, yes. She got a Dr. Terry moving and it's good. Okay. All right. Shout out to Michelle Obama. Want to shout out to Michelle Obama, Barack Obama. I want to shout out to Sadie Tamer Marcel Adesana. I want to shout out Richard Allen Ministry. Uh, uh, 1760 and 1831. I want to shout out Maya Angelo Portrait 1928 to 2014. I want to shout out Arthur Asia, the tennis player from 1943 to 1993. I want to shout out James Baldwin, American Novice from 1924 to 1987. I want to shout out Ru Ruby Bridges, Civil Rights Abbas, 1954 to present. I want to shout out Cobra Bryant, the NBA star, 1978-2020. Thank you. You work so welcome, sis. So welcome. I want to shout out Best Bessie Coleman, Civil Actor, 1892-1926. Mary Fields, Mail Carrier, from 1832 to 1914. Rodolph Fisher, Physician, 1897 to 1934. Shout out to James 14, a business 1766 to 1842. Okay, you're talking about all these people this morning. You own it. <laughs> Thank you. I go to God, I owe to him, sis. All right, this only the one I did for now. But I want to shout out Obama. I want to shout out Michelle, and I want to just shout out. So this is the end of Black History, and I hope the backstage they go look at the replay or whatever. So I love you, each and every last one of y'all, and thanks for coming, Sis Quinn. Thank you for coming, Brother Joshua. I'm so used to saying that, Sis. But I won't say it on your channel, so I'm so used to saying that. But I love each and every last one of y'all, y'all, and have a blessed morning. Bless at work. Bless at home. I love y'all. Oh, um, you okay, sis? You okay? You okay? If you ain't in, I know you. I know. I know you there. Even if you don't cut me, I know you're there. And I love you for that. So, I love y'all. And y'all have a blessed day.